Our world is vast with countless communities, each holding its own rich culture and ways of life. Within this culture, there are hidden threads, tribes whose existence remains hidden in mystery to most of us. This is North Sentinel Island. It's been home to the most isolated tribe in the world for the last 60,000 years. The genes of this tribe carry DNA of a third unknown human species. And in this video, we'll be unveiling the secrets of these baffling societies. But what really sets them apart from many modern societies and tribes? And what captivating stories lie at the heart of their existence? Join us as we unravel 15 of the scariest tribes you don't want to meet. Number 15. Skeleton Clan. Deep within the rugged terrain of Papua New Guinea lies the mysterious Skeleton Clan, a group whose essence is woven into the very fabric of their being. Their DNA holds a secret, a puzzle that baffles scientists and defies explanation. It suggests a lineage that strays from the usual course of human evolution, hinting at origins beyond the earthly kingdom. What makes the Skeleton Clan truly remarkable is not just their genetic mystery, but the astonishing way they choose to express it. They carve their bodies deliberately, transforming themselves into strange, skeletal figures. It's a sight to behold, as bones seem to emerge from below their skin, creating a spectacle that captures the imagination. Yet perhaps the most captivating feature of this enigmatic tribe lies in their eyes. They possess a mesmerizing glow, one that cannot be replicated with ordinary makeup or artificial lenses. Tucked away in the heights of Kundiawa, a settlement settled thousands of meters above sea level, the Skeleton Clan resides in a world all their own, separate from the ordinary realities of life. Throughout history, they have been known for their aggressive nature, often leading to deadly conflicts. This tendency sets them apart, even among the diverse indigenous groups in the area. Despite their tendency to keep to themselves, scientists have managed to uncover some of the mysteries surrounding this mysterious tribe. Are they distinct species like different breeds of animals? Or could they have originated from an unexplored cosmic realm? Could there be more hidden aspects of humanity waiting to be discovered in the depths of the forests? It's almost as if we're conjuring images of mysterious creatures like King Kong, roaming in distant wildernesses beyond our understanding. The mystery of the Skeleton Clan urges us to delve deeper into the unknown, where secrets lie on the fringes of our comprehension. Number 14. Kazakh Eagle Hunters Tribe In an amazing part of the BBC Human Planet series from 2011, people got to see a stunning place in Mongolia called the Altai Mountains. Here, a group of nomads known as the Kazakh Eagle Hunters took the spotlight. These folks wore tough animal skins to stay warm in the cold weather. Fathers and sons with faces marked by time rode horses across the wide land like true experts. On their horses they held out their arms, carrying big blindfolded golden eagles. It was tense when they took off the blindfolds, letting the eagles fly high into the sky, showing how people and animals can work together. Amidst the big open plains, the eagles flew with grace, hunting alongside their human friends. And then, a quick fox dashed by making the adventure even more exciting. It felt like watching a scene from a long time ago where tradition and nature were one. The tradition of using eagles for hunting goes back hundreds of years for the Kazakh people, even to the time of Genghis Khan. Marco Polo, an old traveler, talked about eagle hunting way back in the 1100s. Drawings on walls from a long time ago show this special bond between people and birds. Nowadays, the descendants of these Kazakh eagle hunters still welcome visitors with open arms. They share their ancient way of life, showing how they and their amazing eagles work together. Visitors get to see how close these hunters are to their eagles, making it a truly special experience. Number 13. Night Marcher Throughout history, sharing mysterious stories about ghosts has always been a hit, grabbing people's attention and becoming a beloved form of entertainment in Hawaii's rich cultural history. From ancient buildings to towering valleys, from sacred burial grounds to revered temples, and from woodlands to coastal shores and lava fields, every corner of Hawaii seems to have its own share of ghostly encounters and mysterious happenings. With so many sacred sites filled with tradition, the connection between Hawaii's past and present seems almost tangible. 
Situated deep within Hawaiian tradition is the tale of the Night Marchers, also known as Hawaii Po, who hold a special place in the island's ghostly legends. These spectral beings march purposefully to the beat of ancient drums, some believe as armed warriors, adorned in old armor and cloaks, either heading into battle or returning from one. Stories even tell of powerful spirits, like Ali rulers, leading these marches to important sites, perhaps to welcome new soldiers or to settle old scores. It's said that these ghostly processions may have various intentions, from reclaiming disputed land to reliving past conflicts or seeking revenge. Some even speculate that they might be searching for a gateway to the afterlife. According to legend, the night marchers stick to specific routes, carrying torches and chanting ancient songs, their presence most felt under the cover of night, especially during certain moonlit nights, although there are tales of sightings during daylight hours too. Locals whisper about finding mysterious footprints left behind by the demonstrator, despite the belief that they float inches above the ground. Encountering a procession is considered a risky affair, with legend advising against any interference. Witnesses are warned to stay low, pretend to be dead, and avoid making eye contact, as any disruption could lead to a dire fate for the intruder or their loved ones. Number 12. Mokan Tribe The Mokan people are a fascinating community living in the stunning Mergui Archipelago, a cluster of around 800 islands that are disputed territory between Thailand and Burma. Researchers believe that their ancestry can be traced back to southern China about 6,000 years ago, which eventually led them to settle on various islands across South Asia. Currently, there are between two to 3,000 Mokan individuals living on these islands, leading a semi-migrant life as hunter-gatherers who heavily depend on the treasures of the sea for survival. Their society, comprising roughly 1,500 men and an equal number of women, communicates through a unique language called Mokan, which is part of the Austronesian family. Despite the rich cultural belief woven into their island lifestyle, there is a looming concern over their declining population. The complexities of modern immigration and land ownership laws present ongoing challenges due to their nomadic lifestyle. However, they have adapted to some modern aspects to a certain extent. For instance, their children attend mainstream schools, exposing them to contemporary cultural beliefs. Nevertheless, there remains a clear divide among those residing on the Surin Islands, where a more traditional way of life persists. These islanders, deeply twisted with their natural surroundings, sustain themselves by gathering resources from the land and sea, using traditional tools like spears and nets. Notably, they have begun participating in local markets, exchanging their harvested goods for essential items. Despite the invading threats to their traditional practices, the resilient Mokan people navigate the delicate balance between preserving their heritage and adapting to the changing world around them. Their story is one of resilience and adaptation amidst the evolving challenges they face. Number 11. North Sentinel The North Sentinel Island, nestled in the Bay of Bengal, is not only home to the mysterious Sentinel tribe, but also boasts a rich biodiversity. The island is part of the Andaman and Nicobar Archipelago, a cluster of islands known for their lush tropical rainforests, pristine beaches, and vibrant marine life. The Sentinelese, believed to be direct descendants of the first humans to migrate from Africa tens of thousands of years ago, have maintained their traditional way of life for centuries. They live off the land and sea, hunting, fishing, and gathering resources within the confines of their small island. Despite numerous attempts by outsiders to establish contact, the Sentinelese have fiercely guarded their isolation. In 1880, an expedition led by British colonial administrator Maurice Vidal Portman attempted to make contact with the tribe, but was met with hostility. Portman's efforts resulted in the capture and subsequent deaths of several Sentinelese individuals, highlighting the tribe's steadfast resistance to outside influence. In the aftermath of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, which devastated coastal communities across the region, aerial surveys revealed that the Sentinelese appeared to have weathered the disaster relatively unhurt. Their intimate knowledge of the island's terrain and natural warning signs likely played a crucial role in their survival, further emphasizing their self-sufficiency and resilience.
The Sentinelese language, customs, and rituals remain largely undocumented, adding to the mystery surrounding the tribe. Anthropologists and linguists have long been intrigued by the prospect of studying the Sentinelese culture, but ethical considerations and the tribe's fierce resistance have hindered scientific exploration. In recent years, satellite imagery has provided valuable insights into the Sentinelese way of life, revealing the location of their settlements and offering glimpses of their daily activities. However, the tribe's continued isolation remains a topic of debate among policymakers, anthropologists, and human rights advocates, with conflicting opinions on the best approach to balance preservation and engagement. Number 10. Kauai Tribe Deep within the dense and biodiverse jungles of Indonesia, where sunlight struggles to penetrate the thick canopy, lies an extraordinary tribe known as the Kauai, or the Fearful Ones, in the local dialect. Their existence is evidence to the resilience of ancient cultures, seemingly frozen in time amidst the rapid march of modernity. The Kauai people's knowledge of their surroundings is profound, passed down through generations, allowing them to navigate the wandering jungle with unmatched skill. Their understanding of the vegetation and animals is unparalleled, utilizing natural resources for food, medicine, and shelter. For instance, they have a deep understanding of various plants with medicinal properties, using them to treat ailments and injuries within the community. Living in harmony with nature, the Kauai tribe's lifestyle is sustainable, with minimal impact on their surroundings. They have developed delicate hunting techniques, often employing secret and patience to capture prey. Their diet primarily consists of wild game, fish from nearby streams, and foraged fruits and roots. However, their most notorious dietary practice, cannibalism, is reserved for ceremonial purposes and as a means of survival during times of scarcity. Despite their seclusion, the Kauai people possess a rich oral tradition, passing down superstition, legends, and histories through storytelling. Their language is unique and complex, reflecting their deep connection to the land and their ancestors. Their encounters with the outside world have been rare and often fraught with misunderstanding. When confronted by outsiders, they initially react with suspicion and fear, viewing them as potential threats to their way of life. However, some interactions have led to exchanges of knowledge and cultural understanding, albeit sparingly. Remarkably, the Kauai tribe's population has remained relatively stable over the centuries, a proof of their adaptability and resilience. However, encroachment from outside forces, such as deforestation and smuggling, poses a growing threat to their traditional way of life and the fragile ecosystem they call home. Number 9. Batak People The Batak people, renowned for their resilience and adaptability, have not only survived, but thrived in the rich river valleys of Palawan amidst centuries of change. Their traditional knowledge of the surrounding forests is profound, with expertise in identifying medicinal plants, rare herbs, and valuable timber species, which they skillfully utilize for sustenance and trade. Furthermore, their physical attributes, including their impressive stature and distinctively curly Afro-textured hair, have picked the interest of anthropologists and geneticists alike, leading to ongoing research into their genetic heritage and evolutionary history. Some studies suggest possible connections with ancient migration patterns from Southeast Asia, enriching the human diversity in the region. Despite their relatively small population, the Batak maintain a strong sense of community unity, fostering deep bonds through shared rituals, ceremonies, and oral traditions passed down through generations. These cultural practices not only strengthen social ties, but also serve as repositories of wisdom, preserving their rich heritage in the face of modernization and external influences. Moreover, their integration into the local economy through tourism has not only provided economic opportunities, but also raised awareness about their unique way of life, fostering cross-cultural understanding and appreciation. Visitors are often captivated by their traditional dances, craftsmanship, and hospitality, leaving with a newfound respect for the people's resilience and resourcefulness in the face of environmental and social challenges. As guardians of the land they inhabit, they play a vital role in conservation efforts, advocating for sustainable resource management and environmental stewardship. 
Their deep connection to the natural world is reflected in their spiritual beliefs, which emphasize harmony with nature and reverence for ancestral spirits, shaping their attitudes and behaviors towards the environment. In essence, the story of the Batak people is not just one of survival, but of resilience, adaptability, and cultural richness. Number 8. Mercy Tribe the Mercy Tribe stands out like a beacon in the home of human cultures, particularly their women, who possess a fashion sense so extraordinary that it rivals even the most innovative celebrities like Lady Gaga. Imagine lips elegantly adorned in a manner that could cradle not just any plate, but one delicately decorated with corn grains, bones, leaves, and berries, creating a masterpiece of artistic expression. Amidst a backdrop where 45 other tribes coexist, None can hold a candle to the flamboyance and beauty of the Mercy women. Their expression graces the covers of prestigious travel magazines, captivating the imaginations of photographers and tourists alike. The mere thought of encountering them in the flesh ignites a passionate curiosity. Yet a word of caution echoes before delving into their realm. The men of the tribe carry a unique illness, acquired during confrontations with hyenas. Their existence is fraught with hardship as they traverse varied landscapes in pursuit of water, engaging in territorial disputes with rival tribes. However, they've ingeniously transformed their distinctive traits into a means of survival. Embracing visitors as a source of income, they present themselves along roadside decorations in ceremonial attire, proudly showcasing their lip plates, ready to exchange them for compensation. Each photograph taken is not merely an image, but a transaction in itself, offering a glimpse into the local economy that sustains them. Witness their fascinating tradition where lip plates are donned exclusively for the camera, offering a chance to grace the coveted covers of travel magazines. The narrative of the tribe transcends mere survival. It's a proof to their ability to influence their cultural uniqueness in a world that has come to value and admire their resilience. Number 7. Akunsu Tribe Deep in the depths of the Amazonian woodland, where the canopy kisses the sky and the earth breathes with ancient secrets, the Ankutsu carve out their existence. With just three members, they stand as the last guardians of a once vibrant culture, their lineage woven into the very fabric of the rainforest. In ages past, the Ankutsu roamed the vast expanse of Rondonia's rainforests alongside a series of tribes, each with their own unique customs and languages. They traded stories below the branches of ancient trees, their laughter echoing through the canopy. But as time marched on, the relentless march of progress inched closer, swallowing the whole cover of the jungle in its wake. Now, the Ankutsu find themselves confined to a tiny enclave, bordered on all sides by sitting cattle ranches that stretch as far as the eye can see. Where once the sounds of wildlife filled the air, now the breeding of cattle dominates the landscape a constant reminder of the encroaching modern world. Despite the challenges they face, the Ankutsu remain steadfast in their commitment to preserving their traditions. They gather beneath the towering trees to dance and sing, the rhythm of their wooden flutes blending with the heartbeat of the forest. Each movement is inspired with meaning, a tribute to their ancestors who came before them. In their daily lives, the Ankutsu display remarkable ingenuity, finding ways to adapt to their changing environment. They fashion tools and utensils from materials found in the forest, their hands skilled in the art of survival. And though their gardens may be small, they yield a bounty that sustains them through the bend times. But perhaps most striking of all is their resilience in the face of adversity. Despite the overwhelming odds stacked against them, they refuse to surrender their way of life. Number 6. Dasala tribe. Sidney Pasuelo, a brave explorer from Brazil, embarked on a remarkable journey into the heart of the western Amazon basin, where he encountered the enigmatic Dasala tribe in 1996. Alongside him was the perceptive journalist Paul Raphael, whose keen observations added depth to our understanding of this secluded community. The Dasala people, living amidst the vast expanse of the Amazon, remain largely untouched by the modern world despite occasional clashes with neighboring groups. This tribe, numbering around 50 members, offers a rare glimpse into a way of life untouched by modernity. However, 
Within their midst, a smaller fraction of approximately two dozen individuals has split off due to internal disagreements. While some of them seek interaction with neighboring settlements, the majority strictly resist such contact, preferring to stand to their traditional lifestyle. Armed with rudimentary tools such as clubs and occasionally employing poisoned arrows, the Dasala tribe sustains themselves through hunting and occasional encounters with outsiders. Interestingly, they also utilize modern weapons, showcasing their adaptability in the face of changing times. Their daily routines, which include up to five hours of labor, take place within communal huts known as malakas, serving as both homes and gathering spaces. Despite their isolation, the Dasala people maintain formal religious practices, although with occasional reports of conflicts leading to violence. Both men and women adorn themselves with red dye obtained from the ruku plant, symbolizing their unique cultural identity. Shun the comforts of contemporary life, they rely on a diet consisting of corn, fish, birds, wild pigs, and fruits, cultivated through basic agricultural practices. Yet amidst their self-sufficiency, the tribe faces a formidable adversary in the form of malaria, which remains the leading cause of death within their community. Now it's time for today's subscriber's pick. In the heart of the Amazon rainforest lies a mysterious land untouched by the modern world. Hidden under the thick forest and covered in endless rainfall, the Forbidden Kingdom remains a home of mystery and fear, known only through whispers among the boldest of adventurers. The genes of this tribe carry DNA of a third unknown human species. Among them are the Veiled Watchers, a tribe cloaked in secrecy and adorned with masks crafted from the ancient wood of revered trees. Legends tell of their supernatural ability to move through the forest with a silent grace, leaving only the faint rustle of leaves as evidence of their passing. As night falls, the veiled watchers emerge from the shadows, casting a strange brightness upon the darkness that envelops the forest. It is into this home that Alex, a daring adventurer driven by demanding curiosity, ventures forth. Guided by tales of the veiled watchers, Alex navigates the complicated paths of the jungle, delving ever deeper into the unknown. The air grows thick with tension, and the forest itself seems to pulse with an ancient, primal energy. Beneath the moon's chilling gaze, Alex stumbles upon a forgotten clearing, where an unsettling silence reigns, broken only by the distant calls of unseen creatures. Suddenly the shadows stir, and the veiled watchers materialize before Alex, their mysterious masks hiding any hint of emotion. What secrets lie behind this ceremonial expression? Are they guardians of the Forbidden Realm? Or do they harbor darker intentions? What are your thoughts on this mysterious tribe? Share your opinions in the comments below. Number 5. Suri Tribe The Suri Tribe, residing in the borderlands between South Sudan and Ethiopia, are deeply rooted in agricultural practices. Situated amidst the landscapes of southwestern Ethiopia, specifically within the Omozo region of the Southern Nations, Nationalities and Peoples region, SNNPR, the Suri people, also known as Surya, number around 34,000. Within this ethnic group, there exists a distinctive division marked by two factions, the Maga and Chai, while a third subset, the Ballet or Balesi or Kachipo, extends its presence into the Republic of South Sudan. The people, driven by pursuits like trade, intermarriage and seasonal migration in search of better grazing lands during dry spells, lead a dynamic and interconnected way of life. Linguistically diverse, the Ballet or Balesi or Kachipo group communicates in a slightly different dialect compared to their Suri counterparts. Historical echoes from the late 19th century, when Imperial Ethiopian troops asserted their influence in the Suri region, formally incorporating the area into Ethiopia. Following this, the region became a focal point for cattle raids by both Highlanders and Imperial troops stationed in newly established settlements. Previously characterized by a fairly autonomous political structure led by esteemed elders of the ruling age grade and chiefs or priests known as Komoru, Suri society has undergone a transformation, integrating seamlessly into the broader administrative framework of national Ethiopia, relinquishing some autonomy to state control. At the heart of Suri beliefs lies the supreme sky deity, known as Tumu, 
acting as a mediator between earthly inhabitants and Tumu, with the Komoru playing a pivotal role in channeling collective prayers for rain and fertility. Number 4. Asmat Tribe Deep within the tangled mangrove forests of Papua New Guinea, you'll find the Asmat Tribe, a community of around 65,000 souls spread across villages, each with about 2,000 residents. Known for their captivating yet spine-chilling customs, these people have gained notoriety as both headhunters and cannibals, engaging in the shocking practice of consuming human flesh and brains. Surprisingly, the skulls of their unfortunate victims serve various purposes in their rituals, from ceremonial objects to pillows and even makeshift spoons for their meals. Their unique belief system traces their origins back to the sacred forest, and their cultural artifacts, like intricately carved wooden statues, are proof of their ancient heritage. These artifacts now find homes in museums worldwide, preserving the essence of the tribe's culture. Despite their reputation for cannibalism, the Asmat tribe surprises with a fine sense of appreciation. Their cannibalistic acts were not random, but rather targeted specific individuals whose names held significance. They believed that by consuming these individuals, they absorbed their strength and essence, leading them to adopt the names of their victims as their own, perpetuating a cycle where the consumed became the consumer. Even children within the tribe remained unnamed until they were ready to embark on their first hunt, highlighting the importance of names in their intricate rituals. To partake in the cannibalistic rite, one had to know the name of their intended victim. Only after consuming their flesh could they claim the right to adopt that person's name. These hunts often involved raids on rival villages or unsuspecting visitors, turning the act into a suspenseful expedition. Number 3. Machu Picchu Tribe Hidden deep within the lush Peruvian jungle, snugly nestled close to the border with Brazil, lies the mysterious Machu Picchu Tribe, also known by the names Mashko Piro clan. These tribal communities have dwelled in isolation for an astonishing six centuries, sticking fiercely to their ancient way of life in perfect harmony with the untamed wilderness that envelops them. But recently, an unexpected turn of events has shattered the veil of their privacy. Driven by urgent needs for food, tools, and hunting gear, they've been forced to encroach upon settlements in their vicinity. This clash between their world and ours has led to tragic outcomes. Leonardo Perez, just 20 years old, became a casualty of the tribe's desperate struggle for survival when he was fatally struck by an arrow his possessions coveted by the tribe's people. This forbidding incident echoes a similar fate that befell Charcoal Flores and Amatsajenka Indian, a local guide back in 2011. Charcoal Flores had spent 20 years building a bond with the Machu Picchu tribe, supplying them with vital tools like machetes, pots, and pans. In his efforts to convince them to abandon their nomadic lifestyle, he served as a vital link between their secluded world and the encroaching modern influences. Tragically, it's believed his endeavors met a fatal end, marked by an arrow piercing his heart. The once impregnable barrier separating the Mashko Piro people from the industrialized world is slowly crumbling. Their interactions with other indigenous groups are increasing, providing glimpses into a home long sheltered from the relentless march of time. Number 2. Asaro Tribe The Asaro Tribe, fondly referred to as the Mud People, stand apart from other indigenous groups known for their violent tendencies. Instead of resorting to bloodshed, the Asaro tribe has devised a remarkable and peaceful method to handle their adversaries. Known as ghosts in their native language, they specialize in instilling fear through their appearance and demeanor. Covered head to toe in natural swamp mud, each adorned with unnatural mud masks, they move with a deliberate slowness armed with bows, spears, or clubs, creating a spectacle that can send shivers down the spine of anyone encountering them deep within the jungle. Their unique strategy originated from a history of frequent attacks by hostile neighboring tribes. Seeking a solution, they transformed themselves into spectral figures covered in mud. This clever ruse successfully terrified their enemies, who mistook them for the spirits of the fallen and fled in terror. Recognizing the effectiveness of this non-violent approach in avoiding conflict, the tribe has passed down this tradition through generations. The delicate mud masks, 
crafted by skilled artisans, feature details like tusks or fangs, enhancing their fearsome appearance. Despite their intimidating exterior, the Mudmen of Asaro are known for their friendliness and artistic expression. Their captivating image has not only garnered attention in the entertainment industry, but has also made them sought-after participants in movies, TV shows, and documentaries. Located in the central part of Papua New Guinea, the Asaro tribe is just one example of the many remarkable indigenous communities that proudly maintain their cultural identity, resisting the tide of modernity as they navigate through the 21st century. Number 1. Kuarenio People Nestled within the Amazon rainforest, the Kuarenio people thrive amidst one of the most biodiverse regions on Earth. Their existence is intertwined with the intricate web of life that envelops the rainforest, relying on its abundant resources for sustenance and shelter. The Manu National Park, where they have made their home, is not only a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but also boasts unparalleled levels of biodiversity, with countless species of plants and animals coexisting in harmony. The Cuarenio's normal lifestyle is a proof of their intimate knowledge of the rainforest's rhythms and seasons. They move with purpose and precision, following the decline and flow of the river's currents and the changing patterns of the forest's leaves. This deep connection to their environment is reflected in their spiritual beliefs, which are soaked in high regard for the natural world around them. Despite their isolation, the Cuarenio have adapted to the challenges posed by the modern world. They utilize traditional hunting and gathering techniques passed down through generations, supplemented by occasional exchange with neighboring tribes for goods such as metal tools and textiles. However, their resilience is also evident in their cautious approach to outsiders, a strategy born from centuries of persecution and exploitation at the hands of colonial forces and opportunistic settlers. In recent years, efforts have been made to study and document the Cuarenio people, not only for their cultural significance, but also for the valuable insights they offer into sustainable living practices. Researchers have marveled at their ability to coexist harmoniously with nature, utilizing ancient knowledge passed down through oral traditions to thrive in one of the world's most challenging environments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Psst.